Good morning guys, it's after a long time that we are doing a vlog. Icy and I came on a little hike in the region of Kandy. The hike is called Hanthana, but to be specific, we are going to the lizard's back. A lot happened in the past months. We went to China for our wedding, in fact. So we tactically got married for the second time in China. Uh, we'll post a video about that too later. This is the second time that we are coming to the lizard's back area of the Hantana range. And we really love it because it's a moderately difficult hike, but not too bad. And most importantly, for Ice's benefit, there's no leeches here, at least when it's not raining. And this is the first hike that we have done as a couple. So just the two of us. So we wanted to repeat that for a second time since we couldn't find any friends to hike with this time around. I see started a job in Sri Lanka. So she is busy with her work herself. So it's very difficult to find time to go on hikes. Okay, how are you feeling? Let's Talk go. to the camera. Let's go. Look, this is Icy if you don't recognize her with her UV protection, <laughs> sunscreen, face mask, everything to protect her precious skin. That's how it is with Chinese people especially. You would see, especially Chinese women, they're like this when they're hiking. They're not elegant at all. <sighs> protect the skin first, everything else secondary. We've got an expansive view of the entire area. Um, I think that's the Kandu city from afar. I don't think the GoPro can capture uh, the Kandu city perfectly. But anyway, overall it's a beautiful view. And behind us is the summit getting closer and closer. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's just a tour of us today for the mountain this part of the mountain at least. I'm pretty sure there's a popular area towards my right, which is popular amongst hikers. Some people camp up there. We've never done it though. But, oh, you've got directions too. So, <laughs> in case you get lost, there you go. And the best part of the hike is that there's a nice hotel down there. <laughs> Not many people have shown this. We kind of discovered it ourselves by accident, but it's a very nice place to hang out after the hike. We'll show you afterwards. For now, we'll just focus on summiting the mountain. On the way back, we'll definitely show you the nice hotel. You can go and rest, have a meal, and go back. Hantana is definitely a mountain that's close to our hearts since it's a very nice a hike to go on and once you're up there there's a beautiful spectacular view and there's this added bonus of having the lizards back if you dare you can walk along the ridge but I don't know if Icy will give me permission to do that <laughs> let's see let's see if I can convince her while we are up there so out past this clearing is a very special place there's a rocky surface that you have to climb up to. It's quite an interesting climb. I'll show you when we get there. But <laughs> it makes this hike that much special. <clears throat> All right, guys. I think this is, I would say, not extreme, but a more difficult part of the hike towards the top of Hantana. Let's do it. Hey, rocky. <laughs> I see. Show them how it's done. Just need to lower yourself. That's not that difficult. How you? What it looks like to me. Just need to lower yourself. I think it's better if you climb this in all fours. That's the safest way to go about this. Ooh. 
we are still quite some distance away from the summit. Not exactly there yet. I think we got past the difficult area. Wow, that is quite steep. And we are almost at the summit. All right. <laughs> I see ripped her denim. She doesn't want to show her bottom to the camera. <laughs> This is much more convenient than the one that Izzy took. My god, what are you doing, Izzy? Yes, you told me to <laughs> when it is steep, it's easier to climb up than climb down. Uh huh. Climb down is difficult. So, guys, it's very windy today. And further you go up, the windier it gets. We almost lost our drone, too. Luckily, it came back. I would not dare to send a drone again in these windy conditions. Wow. Yeah. We lost sight of it. Completely, I was giving up. I was, I was in my mind calculating the cost of a new drone, seeing the numbers on my bank account going down. Wow, that was, that was traumatic to <laughs> say the least. Okay guys, we made it to the top. Well, almost at the top because that is the highest peak of Pantana. Today it is extremely windy. You gotta keep yourself down or else you'll be washed up. <laughs> but the app is right next to you. So uh, don't dare go to the corner. But this is good enough for me. Wow, today is extremely windy. Woo. We're just gonna take a break here for a while. <sighs> I was planning to send out the drone, no. but <laughs> no, it's not worth taking the risk. Well, by the way, onto the right side of me is the rest of the uh, Hampana mountain. You see it spread across quite a distance from there all the way to the signal towers that you see at the far end of that corner. That is a popular hiking spot for university students and it's not as difficult as this portion of the mountain so a lot of people go to that part for a quick stroll up the mountain to see the entire view surrounding the Hanpana mountains but it's breathtaking for sure well now we see the other side of the Hanpana mountain really beautiful but no, the wind is just gushing past us <laughs> Let's make it to the top of the Hantana mountain range, which is right over there. Yeah, come through there. of Hantana. Well, you see a better view of the mountain range from up here and the surrounding area. Yeah. All right, summited for the second time. Let's walk towards that area and have a little view of the lizards back. Because what's the point of climbing the mountain? Climbing this mountain without at least seeing the lizards back. On to the lizards back! Let's move! The wind subsided a little bit. So I can talk easily and walk easily. Well, on that note, let me introduce you to the lizard's back. There you go. That's the rock formation that I was talking about. Now it resembles a chameleon or a lizard as you see. Uh, the, uh, the problem is on the right side there's like a 70 degree drop and on the left side for sure 
a 90 degree drop to the abyss and you can literally climb up here and walk along the ridge all the way across to the other end it's possible to do <laughs> i see it's not letting me do it and it's not safe to do it today too because it being very windy i see you want to do it no. you want to do the lizards back <laughs> no well, getting up to the ridge is a rock climbing effort itself. There's no specific path to go there. Well, it's quite a challenge. Well, if you dare, please, I mean, go ahead and do it at your own risk. <laughs> I says advice is not to do it. You guys decide whether to agree with IC or not. Okay, with that note, let's make our way down back to the hotel area. I really want to show you guys the hotel because if you guys are coming to the Lizard's Bag, rather, you know, summit the Hantana mountain range, on your way back, there's a very nice hotel where you can relax, go for a swim in the swimming pool, have some lunch and freshen up before you leave for your next destination. That's what we do. And um, I'll just show you the I'll just show you guys the hotel and after that we have a train to catch all the way back to Colombo. Let's do it. This is one way to climb down. <laughs> Okay, with a little bit of difficulty, we descended the mountain and now we are at the base and this is the hotel that I was talking about. It's rather a villa. It's a very nice villa with a nice view in front of it. So it'll be about two minutes until we reach the villa and once we reach there, we'll show you the interior of it. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is called Vajrapani Villa. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give it yeah, to you. Yeah, remember the first time they come here? There's nobody. Push. No, no you can't push it? Push. Okay, let's go around back. <laughs> okay, we had to find the manager and we finally found him. And he opened the main door for us. There you go. Alright, just that door. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Alright, they've got a beautiful infinity pool. Which opens up to the nice view that you see in front of you. Unfortunately, we don't have time now. Oh, I want to take a swim. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oops. Think? Yeah, but what do we do? Okay, anyway, let's move on to the balcony area, which has a nice view. It's a little bit sunny out here now. But anyway, anyway, just to show you guys how it looks like. Wow, it's a perfect place to wind down after a tiring hike. So we love this hike because of this hotel uh, so that you can you know, just sweat out, have a really good hike, come here, chill out and enjoy. So that's exactly what we're doing, aren't we? Let's take a quick shower and prepare for lunch. And after that, we have to rush to the train station. So a lot of things to do. I'll see you guys when the lunch is prepared. All right, guys, so we just took a shower from the hotel and we just ordered a mango and sorry, no. that's not mango, passion fruit and lime juice. It's just so good after a hike. Mm. Really good. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted more ice because I'm going to be super cold. Mm -hmm. It's a very hot day. We ordered Sri Lankan rice and curry. Um, <laughs> wow, this is a portion for two. I think this is a portion for four. Yeah, a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need a more. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. What's in it? 
no one's portion. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the food and the drinks here are just amazing. Yeah, they provide their service really well. Okay. From the oh, from the garden. Oh, from the garden. Okay. Thank you. Alright, this is carrot leaves, it seems. Straight from the garden, they said. Alright, let's try that out. Mmm, it smells the pot. It's very aromatic. Wow, a huge, huge feast. Yeah. After a hike. exhausting hike. Like, most people don't order Sri Lankan rice and curry when they go to a restaurant. But, like, from my experience, they are normally pretty good. Like well, them. yeah, the locals don't order rice and curry because they eat it every day yeah. at their homes. But most foreigners do, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Right? So, yeah. Anyway, we only have half an hour left. That's the only issue. So, we have to quickly eat and then go straight to the train station to catch the train. Anyway, we just wanted to show you how nice of a villa this is and how good the food is. I think you got a pretty good idea of how it looks like. <laughs> right now, we are overwhelmed by all the flavors that these curries are carrying. <laughs> Everything is really good, especially the garden salad straight from the garden out there. It's just especially really, really tasty, tastiest green salad that I've had in Sri Lanka, totally. What do you have to say? What's oh, spicy? The dal is a little bit spicy, right? No, I think the beans. Oh, it's the beans? <laughs> okay, but still. I mean, spicy, but still bearable. Yeah, it's good. No, I asked for medium spice because I don't want to have it mild just because of icy, right? I mean, icy can also handle some spice since he's <clears throat> been in Sri Lanka for at least, I don't know, what, two years, right? Yeah, she can handle some spice. Anyway, <coughs> guys, you guys, you have to try out this place out. Mm -hmm. If you are tired after the Hantana hike, especially the lizards back, this is on the way and you can have some really good food and really good drinks. Uh, we'll see you guys on another video. We've got a lot coming up, so stay tuned. We'll see you next time.